not afraid of you, Captain Hairless. <laughs> oh, Captain Hairless, once again, your chrome dome has saved the day. I wish every man was bald and puffy. <laughs> Danny, I can't believe you made that. Yeah, I put on my website last night. Already got 200 hits. Oh, he's so cute. He looks just like you. Ah, uh, well, thanks. Yeah, because I called him Captain Hairless, I had to make him a lot more bald than me. You know, so I I couldn't give him the full rim back here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Norm, you get anything good in the mail? Yeah, well, Wiener Dog got a lot more credit cards. Wiener Dog. <laughs> Yeah, I should never have registered that dog to vote. Oh, my God, you guys aren't going to believe this. They want me back in hockey. They revoked your suspension? That's yeah. great, Norm. Yeah, this year I've been invited to play in the first annual fall classic at Madison Square Garden. Classic? Isn't that like an old-timers game? <laughs> of course not. Look, it's a, it's a game in memory of these great old players. Oh, wait, they're playing. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, that explains why the game is being sponsored by Direct Casket. <laughs> this sucks, man. I, I'm only 37. I'm too young to be an old-timer, you know? I'm still an athlete. I'm a great athlete. Check this out. <laughs> All right, nobody touch that. <laughs> Throwing away trash is really a young man's sport. <laughs> You're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face. So sad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad. 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 What's wrong, sir? Have I not been insulting enough when you wear regular clothes? Well, I'm single again. I'm starting to take a little more care with my appearance. Uh, cowboy chic is in, you know. At least that's what the women on The View tell me. Mr. Denby, Mr. Bennett from upstairs was looking for you earlier. He was mad that he hadn't gotten the budget report. Danny, didn't, didn't you finish the budget? Um... I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I thought you said you wanted it this afternoon. Well, now he wants it now because of you. My rear end is in a sling. <laughs> well, now, sir, at your age, the sling is necessary for support. Come on. <laughs> Stay out of this. Look, now my boss is all over me. You get your act together, Sanchez, or I'll unleash a world of pain on you. <laughs> The old days, I knew what to say to a jerk like that. I'd say, my mother's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> you know, I think I'll call her now. Hey, Laura, you wanna come over to my house tonight there? Uh, it's Wiener Dog's birthday, I'm having a big party for him. Again? Yeah, well, you know, one dog year equals seven human years, therefore, a dog has a birthday every one month and one week. <laughs> I have a clown on retainer, though. Well, I can't come anyway. I've got a date. <laughs> you got a date? <laughs> oh, you really do have a date? Yes. Oh. Who, who, who is he? He's nobody. Well, come on now. Don't be ashamed. I've seen your crazy, weird dates before, you know? Like, remember Wolf Boy, that guy? <laughs> and hey, what about that weird guy on the moped that lived with you for a couple weeks? What was his name? Aunt Rita. <laughs> So come on, I want to meet this guy. No, I'm not going to set myself up just so you make fun of me. Hey. Hey. Uh, sorry I'm late. I, I could not get a cab. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're dating a really old guy, and he sent his kid up to get you. Norm, this is Dale Stackhouse, my date. Dale, this is Norm Henderson. He's kind of like Rain Man, but without the math. <laughs> Great to meet you, Norm. Yeah, hey, congratulations on the big boy jacket there. That's pretty good. 
Look, I, I know you're a good friend of Lori's, and you're probably concerned that I'm a little young for her, but I just, I want to assure you that it's absolutely none of your business. Mm -hmm. Dale, you know that animation I was telling you that my mm -hmm. friend was doing? You can check it out on his computer right there, and I'll be back in one sec. Sure, I'd love to. Well, that's pretty irresponsible, isn't it, Lori? Just parking the kid in front of the cartoons like that? I know he's a lot younger. He's very smart. He's in graduate school at Columbia. I know what's going on here. You're all upset because you got that damn letter from the hockey league, and now you're taking it out on me. I am not. If I was dating a guy my own age, you wouldn't be making these jokes. Well, of course not. They wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> And if you're not jealous, then why are you giving me such a hard time? I just want to point out to you there, Lori, that you're not the kind of woman who can date a young guy. You know what I'm saying? You're the kind of woman that could scold a young guy. Oh, no. No, you're so full of it. The only reason that this bothers you is because I've got a young hottie and you don't. Well, that's ridiculous. I could get a young girl. Oh, please. Hey, I'll have you know, I date young girls all the time. Not recently, but, you know, back in high school, sure. Lori, do you want to stop by your place and change for the club, or should we go to dinner first? You're going to a club? Hey, I, I was going to go to a club tonight. You can come, Norm, but, you know, you don't have to prove anything. I'm glad to have you come. Just no, no more cracks about age, right? Young people have it hard enough, what with the horribly taut skin and the depressing lack of a pot belly. <laughs> I'll have you know this is not a pot belly. I lost my belt today and I have to push my belly out to keep my trousers up, so. Come on, Dale. Hey, Dale, you ever watch Rugrats? <laughs> Sorry the line is so long, but it's a new place. It's supposed to be really good. I totally understand if you don't want to wait. No. Hey, don't worry about it. I go here all the time. What are you kidding? Everybody knows me here. <laughs> hey, how you doing, huh? <laughs> hey, what's that? No, you are. <laughs> I am. Just go with us, all right? Okay, he's gonna beat the crap out of you if you don't stop following me. <laughs> Thanks. I'll see you inside. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, you hear that? She said, see you inside. See you inside? Yeah, the club, Norm. She meant see you inside the club. Yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> I, I think she was coming on to you, Norm. Yeah, you do? Really? Why? I don't know. I was just throwing you a bone. Don't make me get specific. <laughs> I do think so. I think she saw me as a protector. You know, she probably, probably recognized me from my hockey days. Oh, yeah, that's right. Lori mentioned he used to be an athlete. Oh, he used to be an athlete? Hey, once an athlete, always an athlete. You know why that is? Because they have no useful skills in the real world? <laughs> well, no, I wasn't going to say that, but yours is better, actually. <laughs> um, the line is around the block, so can we squeeze in with you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Squeeze in? No. <laughs> Ah, so, hi, I'm Norm, and uh, nice to meet you. This is a uh, friend of my mother's, and uh, and that's her, her youthful ward. Um, I'm Allison. This is Kimmy and, and Sarah. I'm Lori, and this is my date, Dale. And earlier, when you said see you inside, Norm thought that you met... Ah! Uh, we, we should probably just go home. You know, you've got to be someone or know someone to get in here. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, don't worry about it. Listen, uh, I, myself, I used to be a professional hockey player. I think I can get us in pretty easy. Hold on. Hey. Hey, it's me. Get back in line. Huh? <laughs> Look, I didn't want to embarrass you, but uh, I'm a famous hockey player. I think maybe you'd recognize me from my old hockey card. Hey, hey, don't touch that. They only made one of these. Get back in line. Did you get us in? Yes. <laughs> the thing is this. Uh, you see, he said that he doesn't want to appear too elitist by letting us in because I'm famous. So he's going to let a, a couple of hundred regular dudes in first and then us. Oh, yeah, a friend of mine told me that there's a way to sneak in at this place. Can you get up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'll jump up and grab that ladder. I'll flip myself onto the fire escape, get over to that ledge, go through that window. I'll let you guys in the back door. 
I used to do some gymnastics, so. Gymnastics, oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess the little Russian girl's gonna let us in. Ding -ding. <laughs> Your thoughts? You know, there'll probably be a bouncer in there, and I'll probably need somebody like me. I'll be right back. <laughs> ah! Norm, are you all right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Norm, are you okay? Uh, how am I doing, Lori? Am I on the building yet, or what? <laughs> Artie, what are you doing on my computer? We're trying to find that internet cartoon you made to get back at Denby. Now, get the hell away from there, okay? I mean, everything you touch gets Cheeto dust on it. <laughs> he's gonna wait until Norm got here, but I guess he's gonna be late again. What's going on with Norm? He was out all night with that chick he met at that club. I guess that means you're up for grabs, huh? <laughs> all right, all right. Shush. Okay, I made uh, Mr. Denby a cowboy. I call him the gassy gunslinger. <laughs> It will linger. He's Max Denby, the gassy gun slinger. Draw! <laughs> so? Uh, that, it, it's great. I am so impressed. Yeah? yeah? Artie? You know, it made me laugh, but it also made me think. Hey, Hardy, what are you doing here? Hey, man, I just came by to get that 20 bucks you owe me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here you go, buddy. You look terrible. You okay? Oh, my God, I haven't been sleeping in like three days. I've been out with Allison every single night, going out in clubs and everything. I can't even... Hey, Hardy, what are you doing here? <laughs> Hey, man, I just came by to get that 20 bucks you owe me. There you go, buddy. Lori, just because I'm younger than you does not mean we need to break up. I said what I wanted to say out there. I don't want to talk about it in the we office here. We can work this here. out. Look, women live longer than men anyway, right? <laughs> so if it helps you keep exercising out, eat a lot of bacon, we, we can narrow the gap. We can't <laughs> build our relationship on the hopes that you're going to have a heart attack. Oh, give me a chance. No, I can't do it, Dale. I'm sorry. I can't. It's not... You know, this age thing is ridiculous. If you change your mind, you've, you've got my number. Just don't call too late. You'll wake up my mom. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, it was bound to happen sooner or later. He's out all the time. I can't keep up that pace. Yeah, Lori, I know how you feel. I dated a younger guy once. He was smart and handsome and funny. It was great in bed. And it turned out badly, right? Yeah, okay, if that helps. <laughs> Norm, it's 10.30. Mr. Marmore's probably waiting. Come on, I've, I'm supposed to supervise your session with him. Mr. Marmore, this is Norm Henderson. He'll conduct the initial interview, and then we'll determine what services you need. All right. Um, now, uh, Mr. Marmore, uh, I understand that uh, you were in an accident? Yeah, I was in a traffic accident. A little old lady in a station wagon rear-ended me. What kind of accident were you in? Is it traffic accidents? I had severe soft tissue damage. I messed up my neck. How does traffic accident did it uh, affect any parts of your body at all?
my neck. <laughs> I, I, I've been unable to work for the last six months. Now, this neck injury, has it affected your ability to work? <laughs> Let's say the last six months. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're making an idiot out of yourself. How do you think I'm coming off? <laughs> You can't do this job if you're out all night, every night with this young girl. Fine, I won't do this stupid job then. No, no, no. All right. I broke up with Dale, so you can stop killing yourself because I know you're just dating her to compete with me. No, I'm not. I like Allison. Norm, you couldn't sit down and have a conversation with her for two minutes if your life depended on it. Well, that's not a fair test. If my life depended on it, I'd have sex with five bikers. Danny Sanchez, you bastard! Yeah, I just got a phone call from my ex-wife. You put a naughty cartoon about me on that damn internet. I, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Still, oh, yeah, nice try. You, you think I'm just an ineffectual old man, don't you? Well, you're, you're wrong, pal. Now, give me, give me the internet. <laughs> The whole internet, sir? <laughs> yes, the whole thing right now. Hand it over. <laughs> Sorry, people, no more internet. <clears throat> you have Danny to thank. Yeah, so listen, you know, we've been uh, to clubs every night, so I thought tonight would be a nice time just hang out and, uh, you know, get to know each other. Oh, this isn't about me barfing up all that schnapps last night. Because I know that was gross. No, I actually enjoyed holding back your hair there. No, it's, uh... <laughs> it's just I figure we haven't talked that much. You know, I thought maybe we could talk, talk. All right, talk is cool. Yeah. So, so what do you want to talk about? Um... Okay, well, lately, I've been really into politics. Oh, uh, yeah, politics, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, this will be the first election where I get to vote. You know, <laughs> you know, voting is a huge responsibility. Yeah, but the election was three days ago. What? But they, they never came to my house. <laughs> Well, sometimes they miss a block. <laughs> yeah, why don't you drink some more wine? Sure. So listen, uh, what else? Uh, hey, tell me about your family. Do you have any brothers and sisters? You mean counting me? <laughs> no. No, not, not counting you. Oh, well... Then no. <laughs> you know what else I'm really into? Hang on, let me drink some more. <laughs> All right. Tell me, what what else are you really into? Reading. <laughs> I just I just finished this great book. Everything I ever needed to know I learned in kindergarten. Oh well, I know what we can talk about then. Hey, what what shape is this? Hi. What are you doing here? I thought you were on a date with Allison. Yeah, I know. Something terrible happened, Lori. Oh, you and Allison had a big fight. No, even worse than that. Oh. She realized you're just a substitute for her father, and what she really wanted was the smooth body and the, the endless endurance of a young man. <laughs> Let's not guess anymore. I'll just tell you what happened. <laughs> I, uh, I told Allison I couldn't see her anymore, and I, I realized something awful about myself tonight. What is that? I can't date young, stupid women anymore. God, it hurts to say it out loud. Sit down. Look, what you're going through, it's perfectly normal. People, at some point in their lives, they mature, and they realize they want to be with somebody their own age. Oh, do you have any Gatorade? I'm a little dehydrated. Oh. Hey, Norm. 
Uh, by the way, Dale and I got back together again. You had sex with him till he needed Gatorade? <laughs> Look, wiener dog, being a grown-up means being responsible. Now, if you don't pay your credit card bills, you're gonna have to deal with the consequences. <laughs> They're repossessing your giant bone. <laughs> now, go get me your wallet right now. <laughs> hey, don't give me that look. You know this was coming. You didn't even sign the back of this one. <laughs>